how to think free? Other people's opinions. And I'm not drugged out. This these pills that they want me to take so three of a day. So he starts off this this whole TMZ week, rant, man. you know, like saying that he didn't expect no, expect the reaction, reaction, but I knew doesn't there was change the fact that he is receiving day day a very negative reaction to, to some but improperly also, and unwell un that you're not apologizing because everybody else inconsiderable when they make acts like that, they or thoughts apologizing because they're so worried about you know what like to well, you know why, to his his you know his first amendment rights you know his his god given uh, rights you know his I, right I, to say I, what I, he I, wants yeah, and you I'm know what i'm saying like we all have yeah. the right to say what we want don't we and oh i didn't say what i what i want i'm prince l you know moist temple like trust core i'm just doing a little quick reactionary video to the kanye west rant uh, on TMZ, you know, and also like some of the things that he's just been in the media for saying. Uh, most notably, like if you if you've been underneath your bed or <laughs> that might be like a really gigantic ass rock. Um, he recently said that he believes that slavery is a choice. Now, um, I think that is finally important, or like that is and has been very important uh, within the last 35 to 45 years that the conversation be had that not everybody feels the same way about slavery all right now that does not mean that not everybody agrees that slavery was wrong like everybody agrees that slavery is wrong whether regardless of whatever the complexion of skin is humanity should not be enslaving other humanity all right like that is inhumane treatment that is not the psychology or the mindset of a, a global people all right like and so as it's been said before, we have to turn to love and not to hate. But some of this this information that or some of this commentary that Kanye put out there, it wasn't in love and it definitely wasn't in hate. It was nothing more than sensationalism. And you cannot knock this man for being a sensationalist and saying what he said in and on social media because that is one of the few ways that people nowadays are only being able to become socially active. Right? Take, for example, you watching this video. Let's keep going with some more of what Kanye had to say, right? So, you know, the mere fact that he's starting, you know, some of his uh, his uh, his explanation as to, to the nature of his behavior, it, it's all excusable, right? Like, you know, he's, you know, giving an, ex an excuse as to why it is that he responded that way. And in, 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 in when Donald Trump was first being nominated and voted into office, you know, like, was that the excuse when he said the same thing to George W. Bush Jr., where he said that he did, that that president did not like black people, you know, and like, he, you know, nobody had a problem with what it is that he said then, right? So if he's, con if you already knew that Kanye West had this vein of thought, right? This heart beating, this t this state of mind, you know, blood feeding that state of mind. Why is it in of any surprise to anybody that he makes a comment like this? Shouldn't. All right, and he's saying that the, he's blaming the media. Of course, like all these other things. This is what you call transference within behavioral medicine. Okay. He's transferring his responsibility or the blame from himself and placing it onto something else. He started out with drugs, so that's an addiction. At least he's admitting that he's got problems, right? A lot of us can't even admit that we have problems. And some of the things that we may need to start addressing as an addiction is our addiction to victimization. Now, slavery, again, is wrong. No man should enslave other men, right? Does it remove the relevance of what it is that Kanye West said though. Let's think about this from a, from a historical perspective, okay? Because to some regards, and this is just only an opinion, okay? I'm entitled to my opinion. This video is only for educational and informational purposes only, all right? So it is in that mindset that I ask, is it wrong for him to not state, say what he said? Is it wrong to not think that slavery is a choice historically when you look at the when Columbus or Christopher Colon first got to the Americas what is it that he attempted to do on the those Caribbean islands 
that he that he first stepped foot onto, like Hispaniola, like Bodenkin, like you know. Let's talk about the the story of the Taino Arawak Native Native American, because this is not India. This is North America, right? So let's talk about the Tainos, right? When Columbus first got there in 1491, 1492, the Tainos refused to be enslaved, and so the men who could not defend the, the women killed their families. The women who had lost their men killed their children and then killed themselves before and instead of allowing any foreigner to, to, to rape or take them, period. That was the mindset of a people who were hell bent, heaven bent, mind you, on the survival of their people without corruption or without impregnating the idea of colonialism onto those individuals now it goes without saying that those individuals weren't able to pass on any genetic information outside of the people that they were related to and so perhaps on some genetic level on some epigenetic level the 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 coding for retaliation or revolution or revolution in thought to rebel against wickedness to rebel against the colonialized mindset that enslaves many people to this very day and it is it's not a physical thing this is a, this is a state of mind this is a mental thing so it's it is now choiceable to be enslaved in this day and age age all right and that is also to say that if you are within a free state of mind within today's day and age and that is to say that you and your ancestors were never slaves you were rebels that eventually the government had to give in and, and step in to create some form of civil disruption within its own corporate structure in order to permit or to 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 allow or to nurture the seed of revolution within the minds of those previously conquered peoples to now exodus out of that state of mind and into a new state of mind all right so a lot of states of mind all right to really really consider but it goes without saying it goes without saying that this conversation needs to be had more now than ever all right not everybody believes or agrees with the the historical uh you know corrupt bastardized one-sided perspective of what slavery is and stating that all dark-skinned peoples on this northern hemisphere this northwest portion of africa that that moors call a mexim that now americans naturalized americans and not the true natives, not the true Americans, are now claiming to be a social disorder, all right? Because when we really step back and analyze the situation, regardless of whatever our, our gripes are, the majority of us don't understand concepts between black and white. The, the rest of us are still trying to, to define literally what it means to be black, what it means to be white, where or how this affects our ability to e adapt, evolve, and overcome past grievances to now no longer make emotionally based decisions and now start taking logical approaches towards achieving the same objective that your oppressor achieved. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, two on the right, five on the left, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, truth has no falsehood when it's stated in this proper fashion i mean it's in love you know like kanye west he was stupid for for saying for for expressing it without fully thinking about what it was that he meant and how it would be received but all in all the absence of thought still retains its stronghold on our people because while we're still debating issues of slavery what's going on in government they're still debating about who's going to be in power, and it's not anybody who looks like us. And so now we need to speed these things along and get to the point where we start creating solutions that are about all of us. We need to recognize where we're being distracted and get back to the facts and the mission. We have a mission. 
Are you a part of the mission? Or are you a part of the problem? Yeah.